I'm Dr. Vivek Mittal, Associate Director, B.L. Kapoor Super Speciality Hospital, Pusa Road, New Delhi, in the Department of Joint Reconstruction. Today, I'll be talking about total hip replacement surgery. Hip joint is a ball and socket joint. It has a cup, we call it as tabulum, and it has a ball, which we call head of the femur, which is the most proximal portion of the femur bone and it gives us movements in various planes and helps us in doing most of our activities of walking, climbing, running, sitting, cycling, sitting on the ground, namaz, puja and various social activities depending on the individual community and country. If the arthritis affects the cushion or cartilage of the hip joint then the movement starts reducing and there will be pain on movements and gradually it will appear 24-7. There will be restriction of movements, there will be limb and little abnormal activities and difficulty in walking. People also may require stick and other walking aids to help them disperse weight while walking so that more weight passes on the walking aid than on the affected hip. Total hip replacement is a wonderful surgery. It's there for roughly 50 to 60 years now and this is the first joint replacement surgery which brought success to the field of orthopedics. In total hip replacement surgery, we change both the socket as well as ball. Well, the socket can be changed either with a cemented cup which can directly be cemented which used to be the flavor in the past or nowadays we can impact a cup directly into the socket and then we can again put a plastic liner. The advantage is in this case we can either put a plastic liner or a ceramic liner depending on the need of the patient. Similarly, on the thigh bone, the femur bone, either we can use a cemented implant which can be fixed with the cement or we can use an uncemented implant which goes and directly get impacted into the femur and later the bone grows into the small small pores which are there around the implant. This leads to a very long term stability of the implant in uncemented THR. Total hip replacement surgery is offered to anyone and everyone who is suffering with crippling arthritis of the hip joint. I personally have replaced hip joints from 14 years onward and up to 107 years of age. Well, they all were affected with severe arthritis and of course the 107 years of patient was suffering with fracture neck of femur. So I can say that total hip replacement is not only done for crippling arthritis but fracture neck of femur where there is a little chance for us to have union of the bone and where we want one procedure which is good for the lifetime of the patient. Patient stays in the hospital for 5 days if we are doing one hip at a time or 6 days if we are replacing both hip joints. But we prefer if patient can remain in the country for 2 weeks by the time sutures are removed. Patients are made to stand and walk on the same day or the next day after the surgery and by the time they are going back home they are walking comfortably with minimal walking aid and it doesn't take much time for them to discard the walking aids and walk pretty normally as they were walking. After total hip replacement patient can do majority majority of the job except squatting or Indian toilet position on the ground and sitting cross-legged. Total hip replacement gives wonderful life to the patient and with current generations of metal on poly, oxenium on plastic or ceramic on plastic or ceramic on ceramic implants that give a huge life to these implants. I have my own patients with 20 years follow up with virtually no sign of any revision 
anytime near and i can see that total hip gives around 20 to 25 years life to the patient plus minus depending on age physical activity and the impact patient on patient puts on these implants in younger patients of course hip plastic metal on plastic hip may not last for that long hence he prefer ceramic on ceramic but in middle age or elderly patients even metal on plastic hip can give 20 25 years of life we operate patients not only from delhi or from neighboring states around us but we do large number of surgeries for international patients coming to us with crippling arthritis of the hip and it includes not only the african states neighboring countries like nepal bangladesh pakistan but gulf middle east and even coming from far east to us most of the uh, international patients are taken care very well by the hospitals and the interpreters provided in the hospital to take care for their needs and make them understand not only during the surgery or before surgery but during stay physiotherapy and other things most of my patients in this hospital goes very well home by the end of 2 weeks after the total hip replacement surgery i can happily and proudly say total hip replacement is a wonderful procedure for patients suffering with crippling arthritis to give them a life as close to what they were before thank you very much you have any queries you can write to bl kapoor hospital uh, website you can write to me i will be happy to answer any query as in when you ask thank you very much